And look who we have here. Come to apologize for leaving me bereft of my lord husband and then vanishing without a trace. You know it was just business, Isabella. Business that turned out well for you, I see. You inherited the ship, I take it. Hmm. I suppose I never did like the greasy bastard. And the siren treats me far better than she ever did him. Indeed. This is Isabella, queen of the eastern seas and the sharpest blade in Lomeren. And Isabella, my dear, you will no doubt be amused to discover that I am traveling with a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Charmed. I assume you saw that little drama, and none of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular... ...accustomed to doing battle a certain way, yes? I can teach you some basics. Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have to offer. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. Do you have something else in mind? Oh, and now you've piqued my interest. It would surely be rude of me to decline such a delicious offer. And what about you, Zev? Shall we? For old time's sake? Oh, Isabella, you and your ridiculous appetites. Perhaps we should leave it up to our friend here. Ah, this brings back memories. Come, my ship is down by the docks, and I am sure you will find my cabins quite comfortable. Well, that brings back memories, doesn't it, Zev? Pleasant ones, even. For you, maybe. I still remember the time your husband tried to kill me. I had to flee across the rooftops completely unclothed. Ah, yes. Those pleasant memories. Now, wasn't there something you wanted from me? A lesson, perhaps? Come. We will need some space for this. Yes. What? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. Do you lack the ears and eyes? She did not get into the fight. They brought it to her. Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. Handled it. I think I need to go hide somewhere. Not happening. What's the password? Come in, quick. Another Grey Warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a Grey Warden. He's the one Arl Howe is looking for. Our trap landed a Warden. You've got one chance to surrender. For what it's worth, I believe you. Not that I particularly care. <laughs> We're not common guards, Warden. We're Howe's elite. 
Shavra, Tanant, and Jarvi. Let's kill ourselves a warden. What's now? All is well? At your service. I'm afraid not. A task? What now? Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the Free Marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? You... you aren't no common guard. You're with all how, aren't you? Men, let's clear out. Don't... don't want to get on Locaine's bad side, do we? Tell Carl on, I owe him one. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. Now let's see. Wait, one... People actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Indeed. Looky here, men. 
When I heard that one of the famous Grey Wardens was pilfering folk, I thought, can't be. But here he is. Looks like the Wardens have fallen hard. Ha! <laughs> Soldiers, kill him. Now yeah, let's see. Know. Which one? are the work of our maker's hand. The Mage's Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport, as she called it. Captain said, Denerim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. What can I get you, stranger? What can I get you, stranger? Yes, my friend? Just like you wanted. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. You haven't heard of us. We're mercenaries from all over the world. We have won many battles, and tonight we drink before the next. We are veterans of many battles. What are you to us? Ah! Then it's time for a bit of exercise. Now let's see. Which one?
Maker's blessing is upon you, Warden. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. She got her sport and she's as pleased as a swine in mud. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. Thanks for the help you've given. Unfortunately, I have more headaches to deal with. You, uh... What was that? Don't let me catch you doing that again. Most kind. Most kind. I'm to keep this, am I? Fine. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Yes! Oh, why? I did not expect it to be this crowded. So what does a dark spawn look like? I'll say I will too. I demand an offer of you and South all of Pharrell. King Loghain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Vieta! This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. <laughs> 